Hello, my name is Jared Woodfield and I'm chairman of the Harris County Republican Party. I want to welcome you to our most recent video blog. I want to begin this blog by thanking you for all the hard work you did on eliminating the blocker bill. In this particular video blog, I want to talk to you about the rest of our legislative agenda for 2009. As most of you know, we as a local party have established what's called a contract with Texas. It's a contract between us, the people of Harris County, the people in the state of Texas, and our duly elected officials, our representatives, those people that we have sent to Austin to represent our interests. As part of this platform or this contract with our elected officials, we've outlined the following six items. First and foremost, the blocker bill. We've had a chance to talk a little bit about it, and because of your efforts, we were successful in modifying it. Thanks again. Secondly, eliminating the gross margins tax or the business tax. We must continue our efforts to eliminate this tax. Remember, this is a tax that is levied regardless of whether the entity that is taxed is making a profit. It is a gross margins tax and it must go immediately. Third, appraisal reform. In Harris County, Republican legislators have led this effort. The push for change began in Harris County when the KSAV radio station and the Harris County Republican Party teamed up and took buses full of Republicans to Austin to testify regarding a reduction of the appraisal cap from 10% to 5% or lower. Senator Dan Patrick and other Harris County legislators, including Dwayne Bohack, Debbie Riddle, and many others, have championed this reform and will continue to lead the way this session. The next item on our agenda is informed consent legislation, or the sonogram bill. This legislation required doctors performing abortions to give the patient an ultrasound of the child and provide an explanation regarding the child's current state of development prior to performing the abortion. The legislation included a provision that stated that the patient is not required to view the ultrasound against her will or in the case of medical emergencies. The legislation ensured that women electing to have the procedure are fully informed about the consequences of the procedure. I am not aware of any other medical procedure in the state of Texas where the patient is denied relevant medical information. Additionally, we must reduce state spending, period. The next item on our legislative agenda is photo identification. Because of our success on the blocker bill, we can now get this legislation passed. One person, one vote is key. We must protect the integrity of the voting booth. Photo identification is required to drive a car, get on an airplane, write a check, buy Sudafed, or a whole host of other prescription items. There is absolutely no good reason not to have one when you go to vote. Though this list does not include every important piece of legislation that will be dealt with in 2009, it is a good start. Let's get moving. Over the next few months, we will be having a series of town hall meetings across Harris County. These town hall meetings will give you an opportunity to meet with your duly elected representatives, to talk to your party officials, to express your concerns, and tell us about areas that you think we need to improve, areas that you think we're going in the right direction and can continue to grow in. We look forward to seeing you at these meetings. Please be mindful of the notifications we will be sending out in the very near future. I look forward to seeing you there. Additionally, we will be having training seminars put on by the Leadership Institute and the Bellwether Forum. The purpose of these seminars is to train individuals who want to run for office, want to learn how to run a campaign, or just want to get more involved. We will be sending out email blasts, putting this information in our calendar, and featuring it in future video blogs. I look forward to working with you towards victory in 2009 and 2010.